Donald Trump has become the first former U.S. president to be convicted of a crime. A Manhattan jury found him guilty on 34 counts of falsifying business records, a verdict that has significant implications as he seeks to return to the White House. The charges are linked to payments made during his 2016 campaign to silence allegations of an affair with Stormy Daniels, an adult uh, film star. In a historic decision, the panel of 12 jurors convicted Trump on Thursday after a six-week trial that featured 22 witnesses, including Daniels herself. Trump will be sentenced on the 11th of July. Trump is guilty! Donald Trump has denounced the verdict, calling it a disgrace and promised to fight the decision. The former president was charged with concealing a payment to other film star Stormy Daniels during the 2016 elections campaign. The 34 counts encompass three categories, 11 counts related to invoices from Michael D. Cohen, Trump's former lawyer who made the payment, 11 counts related to checks Trump signed or used his funds to reimburse Cohen, and 12 counts related to accounting records documenting the reimbursement. Prosecutors argued that Trump violated election laws by disguising the payment as legal expenses. His sentencing is set just before the Republican National Convention, where he is expected to be confirmed as the party's candidate to challenge Democratic incumbent Joe Biden in November. While Trump could face prison, a financial penalty is considered more probable. He was released without having to post bail. Following the verdict, Trump criticized the process and the judge saying Americans will deliver the proper verdict. This was a rigged, disgraceful trial. The real verdict is going to be November 5th by the people. And they know what happened here and everybody knows what happened here. And I think it's a, just a disgrace. And we'll keep fighting, we'll fight till the end and we'll win. Because our country's gone to hell. We don't have the same country anymore. We have a divided mess. To jail! Go to jail! Go to jail! When asked about the decision to pursue charges that his predecessor had declined, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg stated that he did his job and that they followed the facts without fear or favor. The 12 everyday jurors vowed to make a decision based on the evidence and the law and the evidence and the law alone. Their deliberations led them to a unanimous conclusion beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant, Donald J. Trump, is guilty of 34 counts of falsifying business records in the first degree to conceal a scheme to corrupt the 2016 election. Maybe unlike any other in American history, we arrived at this trial and ultimately today at this verdict in the same manner as every other case that comes through the courtroom doors, by following the facts and the law and doing so without fear or favor. In the wake of the verdict, residents in New York have expressed how they feel about the conviction. The sad part of it is, is that it could have gone either way. But when it was found guilty on all 34 counts, job well done, justice system in America. However, there were also pockets of support for Trump, with some residents expressing concerns over perceived political bias. It was uh, sadness for America, sadness for Trump. But at, at the end of the day, it's only going to increase his support like every other time they indicted him. Despite the conviction, Trump remains eligible to run in the upcoming elections and is expected to appeal the decision.